Hi Virgo, and this is Patrice 1111, and welcome to a new series that I'm trying out. Um, this will be sometime every month. I will do a bonus round uh, for financial, finan finances, career. Okay, so um, I know a lot of you have, um, when I did the poll, you told me that you would like to have financial readings. So um, this is me attempting to do one for you. All right, so. Anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, with an rising, okay, uh, moon, Venus. And for those of you that are on your spiritual or purpose or mission, look at your north node. Also, feel free to swap the energies around. If you feel I'm not talking about you about a situation, and um, remember that these are general readings. Cuspers are welcome as well, and cross watchers. So first and foremost, let's take an affirmation card. You could always write down your affirmations on a piece of, like on not just a piece of paper, but like in a book or in a notepad, you know? Uh, and you could uh, use these new um, affirmations as you go through your days, okay? Like, uh, you know, and uh, all those of you that wanna write them in the comments below, always repeat them three times, it's so important. So your affirmation is about breaking barriers, which I really like this, you see, because you see here, like uh, most of the branches are, uh, there's no leaves here, and but there's some leaves that are growing and the sun is shining on this. So your affirmation is, I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. I am, I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So breaking barriers, beautiful. That is your affirmation. And now let's get started with your reading. So I'm only gonna be talking about finances, okay? So um, I'm not gonna get into spirit, spirituality or relationship, it's just a financial reading. I hope that uh, you, know, you will like this format. And if you do, and I see that you like the, the views are good and that the comments are coming in, then I will continue then per month. Okay. Also, check out my other channel, Bianco Nera 1111 Tarot. Uh, it's all written in the community center where I post things or I write things down for you. So you're starting off with the Queen of Wands in energy. Oh, I like that for you. So you're starting off with the Queen of Wands, okay? And uh, yeah, this is about your self-confidence. It's about how you see yourself, how the world sees you. Um, there's a lot of changes that you have to go through to get where you are now with the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you put a lot of work into yourself here. And let's see what else is next for you. Queen of Wands is coming in with what? Okay. Eight of Cups reversed. There's something here that you have to walk away from. A situation that uh, did not serve you any longer. Let's see what else I'm showing up for you. You got the Three of Cups reversed. And you got the Four of Cups reversed. Huh. Look at that. You got three, four. Okay, so let me put this a bit more back. Let's put this here. Okay. Some type of acceptance that took place here. You accepted things as they were um, in a situation here, okay? You were going towards your ninth and 10th cup. And you have to accept, maybe there was offers that were coming in, I feel, for some of you. Um, you know, uh, sorry, Ray is still scratching his. Okay, Ray, go to sleep, please. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I feel here, let, let me get to the first row again here, is that, um, yes, you walked away from things that no longer served. You're going after your ninth and 10th cup, which is about happiness, content, and you know, you wanna have that support around you in, in a situation here. And um, you know, maybe there was offers that were coming in. Yes, there were offers coming in uh, for work or for a job. A lot of you refused that, you were bored with that. You wanted to do something different, you know? And I feel that you did release something here and you accepted something at the same time. So let's look at the second row. Oh, second row, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter is coming in to help you here. There's something that's coming to you that's, that's your destiny. 
you're fated to go towards that. Okay, there's victory here, there's joy. Um, this is uh, karma and change is coming in for you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, there's new beginnings taking place. So let's see what else is taking place for you. You've got the Four of Pentacles reversed. You're not hanging on to your money. I don't feel like you're hanging on to your money in the way you used to before. Uh, there's a sense of that you're letting go of something. You're letting go of your limitations. I do feel that, okay? You're breaking through the barriers here. This is where the card comes in, where I feel that this is what you're doing. You're trusting in the universe. You're trusting in yourself, okay, in the situation. But definitely here, um, with the four pentacles reversed, there could have been in the past where you did uh, maybe go through situations um, in finances and jobs here that maybe there was some type of loss. Okay, but we'll see what else is getting okay, What else is taking place for you? See, so yes, you see, you got the five of pentacles. So there could have been financial loss uh, that you you had to go through. Okay, and some of you, um, even though you had help around you, you didn't tell a soul. You went through this by yourself. Okay, it could be also the way you were thinking about uh, money also. You know, maybe you had poverty consciousness. You felt that you were always lacking of money. Maybe there was projects that you were doing with. I feel that some of you, I don't know who this message is for, but there's uh, some of you out there that were, were probably doing projects with uh, friends of yours. I feel that those that situation in the past, friends or family, I don't know who, if it's friends or family, did not work out for you, okay? You walked away from all of that. You wanted to do something different here, okay? So there could have been some type of financial loss here, um, holding on to your pennies, like in a sense. And I do feel that some of you are letting go of that uh, and like just trusting in the universe to come through. So let's see what else here do you have. Because there is a lot of completions. I do see completions here that are taking place for you. Yeah, okay. In the past, there was a lot of endings that took place, I think, in workplace or whatever, or just a lot of uh, endings of um, something that you probably put a lot of work and didn't work out, and you tried something different. And there is light at the end of the tunnel, and that you got the Empress energy. So there you are, the Venom Feminine stepping in here. This is about new opportunities that are taking place. Jupiter is coming in with Venus in energy. This could also be with a mother figure for some of you. Or, or someone parental or someone like in your family that there could be like uh, someone that I feel that is older than you, not younger than you, but older than you. And, uh, you know, this could be an opportunity that's coming in for you, okay? For those of you, there is a new financial opportunity and it's like the, the leaves here on the on the branch here that are growing. Um, it's the same thing with this. It's about fertility. You've been putting a lot of work into something, really taking the time. It's like a plant, right? You, you put a seed in, uh, you have to water it, you have to put sunlight, you have to talk to the plant, you have to nurture the plant. The same thing with the Empress energy. You're putting it out there and it's coming to you. So this is about having the minus touch and there is abundance that surrounds you. And Venus is there to help you. I also see the Ascendant Masters here that are also part of your um, helping you out here. Your, your Ascendant Masters. Okay. Now, you got the Strength card. Beautiful. This is all about your self-confidence here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo in energy, but it's about having the strength, having the courage here. And it's about how you feel and how others see you, okay? And others see you very good here, okay, uh, Virgo, because you, you, you come out very outgoing, very strong. You have strong values here. You're very truthful in energy. There's something magical also that's taking place for you in disguise. Uh, we do have the full moon in Virgo that's coming up. Um, I don't have the date yet. I think it's April. I'm not sure. Not April. Did I say April? No, I didn't mean April. Sorry. August. Um, I, have to, I have to know which date it is before I say it. I didn't check my calendar yet. Okay. And it's about being prideful without the ego. Okay. Being prideful. Like being like standing up for yourself and showing the world who you truly are here. And there is abundance around you. Okay, so let's look at the last couple of cards here that are going to come out for you. You've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a bit of the sniffles. Excuse me about that. We'll see what else is coming through for you. The Six of Wands. 
Now there's something here that you're not you're not moving towards. Okay, um, it feels like now it could be a, someone coming in that wants to offer you a job or some type of stability, or that's you in an energy uh, where um, I feel you tried something twice and or once and it didn't go through well, and now. Some of you are still looking into the past to really calculate everything that went through, like what, what you had to go through. So you, some of you are not, with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, you're not really moving forward at this time, okay? Um, because there's still regrets here up, upon situations that you're trying to, there's still regrets here in, in the situation here. But what Spirit is saying that, that, you know, that whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever the goals that you're working towards, the Six of Wands is coming in as victory and success. You will be rewarded. That's definitely, there's reward here for you, okay? Let's look at the possible outcome. Now, if you're dealing with another person in your, finance, in your finances, uh, the possible outcome cannot be predicted because there's free will. So it's important that you know that. But you've got the Ace of Cups, and this is about abundance that's coming in for you. All right? Success after a time of drought. Is what I'm hearing and you've got the page of swords reversed in your overall so so you could have uh, um, what do you call that writer's block or some type of something that you're working on that's creative that you're not getting the messages or you're not getting the ideas at this time or maybe there's no offer that's coming on social media let's say if there's like if you are an artist or a musician or whatever it is that you're doing some of you um, you know, it could be that you're not able to communicate or someone is not communicating towards you at this time, right? So now we're going to clarify the cards and see what else is going on here for you. There's a lot of fire energy in your chart. So some of you have maybe Leo in your chart, okay? But Venus is coming in to help you here with the finances. So that's very nice to see. And Jupiter is also here. And it's a great time for you at this time because you do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. That something is faded. Okay, it's coming your way. You're destined. You're destined. Okay, we'll have to see what the, the advice is here. Okay, so we're going to look at the Page of Swords reversed and then we'll follow through with the first uh, half here of your reading. Let me see if you could see the cards more or less. I could put them like this, but. Let me see. There we go. I know you don't see the cards fully. I could put it like this. There you go. Okay? So you can see more or less what's going on. Okay, so let's look at the Page of Swords reversed here for you, Virgo. Give me the cards. One card, please, for the Page of Swords reversed. Why is the Page of Swords reversed? You got the Ten of Pentacles. Something is going to shift here. Jupiter and Venus is coming in to help you here. You're breaking your barriers. Um, this talks about the fruit of life. It talks about uh, stability, financial success, abundance, prosperity. Okay, a beginning of a new project that you've been putting a lot of work into. Uh, I want to take an extra card for the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords reversed? What's the... Um, I want to know what is uh, what took place for the Page of Swords to... Okay, you didn't ask me. Okay. Yeah, it's about the way you're thinking about things, a lot of you, okay, with the Five of Swords reversed. Maybe there was, um, like I said, a, 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 a blockage in how you used to perceive things, see things. The Five of Swords also talks about that, because sometimes we, we are the hardest critic to ourselves, right, in how we think and feel. And some of you have released that. There is a sense of releasing, and, um, and there's a sense of, like, something came, like... Uh, it, Almost like a like a, something had to turn or a new leaf turned when this when something shifted for you and it's showing that there's no need to worry here because there is going to be financial stability for you with the ten of pentacles. So I'll put this here and uh, well I put this here so you could see the ten of pentacles. Okay, in the overall. Now let's look at the queen of wands in energy got the three of swords okay 
and the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Now, of course, there's some type of healing that some of you had to go through in the past. There was sadness or healing that had to take place with the Three of Swords, okay, in energy. But when I look at the Queen of Swords, or Queen of Wands, this is the Phoenix that rises from the ashes, okay? She did a lot of work here. And with the Queen of Pentacles, there is stability, there's passion here, there's success and victory. And there is an offer coming in. So there could be a loan coming in, a job coming in. But there is someone in, in that's coming in here that's that's uh, very loyal. And there, it's a new beginning that's taking place here. Maybe you might still be fearful of, uh, you know, some of some type of offer coming in here. But it, what it's showing me is positive here in the terms of the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, there is stability, okay? Now... We're going to take cards from the first row, the Eight of Cups reversed. So I do want a card from the Eight of Cups reversed, please. Because this shows me that you're overcoming. And some of you are coming back to your original self is what I'm hearing as well. So let's look at the Eight of Cups reversed. You got the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, so there was some type of unhappiness at one point. Uh, some of you have to walk away from that. You move really quickly from that, okay? Some of you have cancer in your chart. But whatever the case is that the Ten of Cups or the Eight of Cups reverse, you, some of you, what happened here is that you took control, you found your direction, and you move forward. This is about you taking your power back. And it's also about the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine or the Light or Shadow. Whatever the thing is, is that you brought something into balance here and you're trusting in the universe, okay? And you're trusting in yourself here with the Chariot. So you, some of you could be also traveling for a job, Maybe you're waiting for, um, some of you were waiting for money to, some type of money to travel, or you needed a car or a vehicle or a truck here to do your, you know, whatever work that you're doing, okay? But definitely here, it's a positive card. It's about ambition, okay? And it is a very positive card. Let's look at the Three of Cups reversed. The Seven of Cups. You have a lot. Of, of course, you have a lot of options and dreams and goals uh, and desires here. Okay, and when it comes to uh, rituals, I feel like, especially with the moon rituals and stuff like that, a lot of you have been manifesting. At of uh, you know, you have a lot of dreams and goals here, and you've been manifesting big. Okay, now let's look at the Four of Cups reversed. Acceptance took place, and when acceptance takes place in situations that. Let's say it was boredom or there was rejection in, in the offers that you were getting. Um, you know, uh, that's when the element of, of the key changes, like everything changes. And, you know, with the King of Swords, this is you, okay? You're very smart, when it, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. The King of Swords talks about someone that's very sharp in energy. They're very sharp. They're very, they're very intelligent. They have a lot of experience here. And you were able to observe, okay, what exactly you wanted here. So there was a lot of observation that came from you. Okay, and it's about sticking, you stuck to the facts and you move forward in the situation. And this is about attaining your goals. Now, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't even call the card. I did get the Two of Swords, but I, probably, I put it back because I didn't call it. Okay, Ooh, this card went flying. Let me go get it. You got the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, it's about your self-confidence. Definitely, you got the Queen of Wands twice. You got the Queen of Pentacles here, also that's showing up for you. You're in the King of Swords energy, okay? Um, but what the thing is, is that it's about uh, your self-esteem, your self-confidence. It's how you put yourself there. It's how you present yourself. And in other words, you are, uh, how do people see me? They see you pretty good. They see you really outgoing. They see you very... Uh, you know, very truthful in, in your value. Uh, they see that, uh, you know, you're very passionate. There's a lot of passion here in this. And they also see that you're stable, okay? It's about stepping into, it's about time that you step into your power, which I know you do know that you have power, Virgo. But it's, it's definitely here, um, you know, stepping into your own. It's, it's time for you to shine, okay? 
Now let's look at the Four of Pentacles reversed here. What is the Four of Pentacles reversed? What is it? What is it? What is it? The energy around the Four of Pentacles reversed, please. Justice. Yeah, the karmic scales are going to be balancing. So you have Libra in your chart. So if you are cuspers here, 22, 21, 22, 23, okay, of September. But definitely here, that something is coming into balance. Things that were unjust before, things that were taken away, things that did not work out are going to come in for you. And it's also about fairness that's going to take place. And, of course, the truth is here. Now, let's look at the Five of Pentacles. It's hard for me not to go into the energy uh, of, uh, you know, because this is a financial reading. But look at that. You have the strength here. You got the strength again twice. Leo energy. Maybe you're dealing with Leo or just you have Leo in your chart. This is about, again, self-confidence. about, you know, uh, being able to go through, like, any problems that show up, you know how to take them on. There's also cuspers also in uh, the month of uh, uh, August as well here. Okay, and it's about like really, there's abundance here. It's about like, you know, just showing the world who you truly are here. You know, it's about having endurance. With the Empress energy, there's definitely new opportunities in having that minus touch, and, it's a, and it has to do with you and how you feel. To get abundance from the universe, it's about your self-esteem. It's how you feel. It's about having that self-confidence in yourself. It's not, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's not about, um, okay, I'm going to come back to that. I, I, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. The key to the universe of law of attraction is your self-confidence, period. It's how you see yourself. And it has nothing to do with, you know, being humble or not. Or It's not about arrogancy when you love yourself. Okay, look at that. With the Empress, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a new financial opportunity that's going to be knocking at your door. Okay? There is. There's a gift that's coming in with stability for you with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, let's look at the Strength card. Eight of Cups and Energy. Who else have the Eight of Cups there? Leo. Yeah, the Cuspers. So, yeah. Uh, Leo's. So, Virgos, if you, if, you're, if you are a Cusper, you should both watch both videos. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, I get it. But I need one more card. I just want one more card for the Eight of Cups, please. And the Strength card. In the month of August, you are going to be walking away. And this time, you're going to leave a lot of emotions or things or situations behind. I do see that happening for you, okay? Because a lot of you feel defeated, okay? Or feel that you're some type of blockage that's taking place here for you. But for me, I see that this is victory. You're walking away from this Five of Cups energy. Okay, releasing. This is your you're on your final, final of releasing of something here. You're overcoming your challenges, but some of you are going to be walking away for good. And some of you around this full moon in Virgo that we're going to have, okay, uh, will be doing that, that ritual of like letting go and releasing what's no longer serving you here. Because it's stopping you from moving forward. Okay, it's stopping you from moving forward in an energy here. This is what I feel. So now let's look at the Knight of Pentacles reversed. You got the Ten of Wands. There's been a lot of stress, burdens, or obstacles in the situation when it came to coming to maybe uh, someone coming in for a collaboration, or you just feel frustrated at this time in a situation where it's been difficult for you to move or plan something here. So let's take a bit more cards for this. King of Wands. Yeah, there you go. You got the King and Queen of Wands. This could be you and energy, okay, or a partnership, whatever this is for you. It's about you. Okay, yes, you can feel bad for things that happen, I understand, okay, 
Uh, that's that's understandable, but um, what it shows me here is that uh, this is about taking leadership. It's about taking control. It's a, there's a bigger picture to the situation. You have to go with you have to go after what you want this month, and you have a lot of windows and opportunities that you could get your manifestation, especially the Lions Gate, the Lions Gate Portal Eight Eight, which I did a video and it's going to be posted tonight. Okay. Um, it's about going after what you want and daring and you have to be bold. You have to take action with the king of wands in energy. You have to go for it. Now, I'm going to take a card out for the five of cups. Okay, because the six of wands is very clear here. There could be also fame here for some of you out there. Of course, there could be. You know, this is about someone that gets very well greeted, very well in their community or in a in their people people like you you know virgo you, you're very successful here okay but of course you're still healing from past regrets there's regrets here or maybe guilt in situations nothing is maybe it's about seeing like uh, uh if the cap the, the the cup is half full or uh, half empty it, it depends how you see things because what you're getting is the ace of cups here there is a uh, Forgiveness for everything, unconditional love, compassion, of course, okay? The Ace of Cups, it's, you're going to feel overwhelmed, but at the same time, the Ace of Cups for me talks about abundance. So there is abundance that's coming in for you. Now, if you feel like you don't deserve this type of abundance, of course, the universe is going gonna, is gonna to say, well, okay, they're, they're talking negative to themselves. I'm just, you know, giving uh, uh, how the, the universe would think. I'd say if you're thinking negative and you think you're not worth it, you feel like you can't do this, you, you can't have this, no way in hell you could ever have a, be abundant. The universe listens to your energy, not the words, to the energy, okay? And so that what they're going to do is they're going to bring more of what you don't want, right? So I'm, I don't know if someone needed to hear this message. So let's look at the Ace of Cups. And you didn't get it twice. And you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Strength card twice. You got Justice. You got the Chariot. Okay, the King of Swords with the King of Wands. Twice the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. And let's not forget the Ten of Pentacles that you got here. Okay, there will be there is stability here. Okay, let's look at the Ace of Cups. The star. I'm telling you, some of you are going to become a star, Virgo, or you are stars. You know, there's some type of, like, I do feel like there's fame here for some of you out there. Okay? And this is about wishing upon that star and whatever it is that has to come through. There's a sense of hope here, optimistic, optimist, feeling optimistic. Faith is stepping in. Okay? You're going to get, especially those of you that are in nature, if you see dragonflies a lot, that's a sign. Dragonflies. Okay, dragonflies. And underneath the deck, you got the tower. Yeah, expect the unexpected because it's coming in for you. You've been manifesting. You've been manifesting your dream desires. Okay, and um, you have all the tools here to achieve anything that you want. It has to do with your self-confidence. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.